Pixel, you're on YouTube. So I've been kind of wanting to paint something lately and with the new Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse movie coming out. So pumped for that, by the way. I figured what better subject matter than good old Spidey to paint upon our canvas. And I figured I'd take you through the process of doing that painting start to finish and stick around to the end if you want to see that finished product. But in the meantime, why not share with you in some good old Spidey appreciation? I just wanted to explain why Spider-Man is, always has been, probably always will be, my favorite superhero ever. So stick around if that sounds interesting to you. Now there are a lot of superheroes out there. I mean, you got your Batman, the cool, tortured, angsty, billionaire ninja. You got your Superman who's like, you know, the alien boy scout, best of humanity, super hopeful, untouchable guy unless there's some kryptonite around. You got Wolverine, this hairy little angry guy with claws. And despite varying quality of stories being told about these characters in the past, all of them, when written well, can be incredible. But Spider-Man, for me at least, stands above and is my favorite. And when I say Spider-Man, I'm talking about Peter Parker. Even though Miles Morales is new to the scene and he's been pretty awesome, in fact, that first Spider-Verse movie, they basically inserted me into a Spider-Man story, which was extremely satisfying for myself. And that's become one of my favorite movies ever. But Peter and I go farther back and we have a deeper connection. Okay, Pete is my boy. So first of all, let's talk about like the superficial things. Just the look of Spider-Man. He's just a really cool designed character. That suit he wears, super iconic at this point. The red, the blue the big white eyes. It's a, such a great design that uh, Steve Ditko, Stan Lee came up with back in the day. And Stan Lee has talked about this, but the fact that his entire body is covered up, it really allows for pretty much anyone to imagine themselves as that character. Putting on the costume, going out, fighting crime. I love that. And as for the actual powers of Spider-Man, so cool and I love you know, just the iconic way he gets around. Batman's got his grappling hooks. The Flash runs really fast. Superman flies around. All those things are cool, but nothing compares to that motion of thwip thwipping, swinging around like a crazy Tarzan in the city. And combine that with his acrobatics and his flips and his wall runs and all these things. The awesome combination of him using his technology that he invented, physics and his acrobatics, his powers, it's such a unique way of moving around and it's endlessly fun to watch and it's just so stinking cool. Spider-Man is the result of an awesome idea, cool concept mixed with a great story that has resonated with millions of us around the world. And speaking of awesome story creation, I am extremely happy to promote and be affiliated with a relatively new venture Story Experiential. So this is an online course that takes you behind the scenes with world-class storytellers, walks you through the process of creating your own story, following the process used by industry professionals. And speaking of industry professionals, your instructors will be people who have had years of experience at places like Pixar, Blue Sky Studios, DreamWorks, Netflix, and much more. So I'd love to send you their way if that's something you or someone you know might find interesting or intriguing. And I'm also happy to offer a 20% off discount code that you can find in the description below. But anyways, back to more Spidey appreciation. But on a deeper level, Spider-Man has always been, to me, probably the most relatable of all the superheroes. Even though he has spider powers and is, you know, a superhero, Peter Parker has a way of getting everything wrong all the time, you know? He's always messing up, whether it be in his superhero life or his personal life, trying to balance the two. He is constantly struggling. And I feel like that's a thing that all of us can relate to. Things go well for some time and then inevitably some kind of disaster happens or we make a mistake that we had good intentions, but it didn't quite work out how we wanted. 
And Spider-Man is always going through that constantly. And he's struggling to keep a balance. You know, he's always trying to do his high school or college work, his family relationships, his romantic relationships, his job, and something always suffers because he is trying his best to do all he can to help those around him and to live by the mantra that we associate so much with Spider-Man, with great power comes great, great responsibility. responsibility. Which is just a great thing for all of us to think about all the time because we all have responsibilities, we all have some measure of power, and that's an idea that I think all superheroes pretty much follow, but it's really embodied in Spider-Man as that's kind of, you know, his thing. With great power comes great responsibility. I love that. Spider-Man has a lot of flaws as well, a lot of vulnerabilities, which also makes him super relatable because we all have those things. He doesn't always make the right choice, even though he has those good intentions, but he's trying his best and he's always reaping the consequences of bad choices he made or certain things not working out how he wanted but he's always trying to correct himself and always trying to move forward and that is endearing and inspiring to those of us who are watching and reading another thing i appreciate about the character is that although life is constantly beating him down he doesn't get you know dark and broody and sad and angsty he tends to be for the most part quite positive a goofball he's always joking around being very positive optimistic and that's something I try to be myself, even though, you know, we're all human and we have our times that are difficult. But in general, I appreciate his attitude and his outlook on life. And that's something, again, that I love about this character. There's so many things to love about Spider-Man. Those are just a few. But I hope you liked this painting that I've been working on. And here is the finished result. I hope you guys like it. There's a link below if you actually are interested in purchasing this piece of art. If not, I'm happy to keep it. That's fine. Spider-Man is awesome. People know I love Spider-Man, so I've been gifted many little Spider-Man figurines and pieces of art and stuff, and I love it. Keep them coming. So do I love Spider-Man? Yes. Yes, I do. Do I go downstairs pretty regularly and watch the What's Up Danger segment of Into the Spider-Verse and weep openly? Of course, we all do. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Feel free to leave some comments below of your favorite things about Spider-Man and what you thought of the new Spider-Verse movie if you saw it yet. Because I haven't seen it as I'm filming this, but I will very soon. Maybe in my next video I'll tell you what I thought. But subscribe here for some more art-related content and I look forward to seeing you guys again. Thanks for watching my video out of the billions of videos on here and I'll see you guys next time.